y'all. Thank you for coming back to the channel. But guess what's trending out there in social media today? Mama Joyce was right when it came to Todd Tucker, allegedly anyway. Todd Tucker got caught by some paparazzi, somebody uh, watching him or whatnot, catching him coming out of a hotel, and it wasn't with candy. Just like Mama Joyce said, Ain't no river wide enough, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough to keep my ass off of you from hurting my daughter. So y'all stay tuned to this video and get the full scoops if you dare. Okay, see ya. Hey, I see you all wanted to come back and get that coffee I'm trying to pour over here. But I want to say thank you. Thank you for all my supporters. Thank you. It's just been amazing how I am uh, making ways on these subscribers or subscribers, new subscribers to my channel. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your continued support. You just don't know how wonderful that makes me feel that other people want to hear what I have to say and come over and see what I'm saying. But honey, yes, we're going to get on into this video straight with no chaser, okay? Somebody called Candy Bird's husband, Todd Tucker, out there in them streets of Atlanta. You know we always got people out there watching, ready to drop tea, coffee, wine, spill it, honey, spill it so they can get paid. That's what these paparazzis of Atlanta do, okay? You just never know. But Mama Joyce had told us, she told us before... Um, they started getting together her and Todd. She said, ain't no mountain high enough. Nothing can keep me, keep me from you. Yes, that's Diana Ross getting to it. And I'm telling you, she was all up on Todd's ass. Telling him up front, out straight out the gate. Don't, don't mess with my girl. Don't mess with my daughter. She don't child like I got in this world too. Don't even do it. And don't think you're going to run over Riley either. I don't care whatever you bring. Now you got Ace him. And he's my other son that I never had because, you know, I lost the son. So he's kind of my replacement and my grandchild at the same time. So I ain't got time for your foolishness, honey. I'll come hunt you down like a dog. Yes, I will. Won't nobody be safe around you until I can get to you, allegedly. Okay, but that's what she was saying, y'all. Like, Uh-oh. Hell in the camp. Hell is in the camp. Hell is no fury. It's not like, what do you call it? Hell has no fear like a woman being scorned. Oh, my goodness. But see, I kind of have to blame Candy because when you open up that door, Pandora's box, when you start letting him play with other women, you there too, because I'm sure he ain't got no other men coming up in there. He wants all the women he can get, and you don't got him trained to it. Similar to what um, hmm, bring me a, a notion of thinking, uh, Tiny and a uh, little tip over there doing their little thing, having all this open stuff going on, and then when they want to open and have relationships without you, okay, while you out doing your business, trying to continue making the money for the family, they out there creeping on the down low, sitting there laying it low, spreading it wide with other people. You see what I'm saying? But you have to call a spade a spade, can't if you ain't open up all these doors, Pandora boxes, and we will be spilling out this tea allegedly on your husband, okay. So, let's get on into that article, okay? Because I don't ramble on no, but it comes from, it's a lot of people got them out there, but when I first noticed it, when I woke up this morning, just checking my feed and seeing how, you know, what's going on on the tube, checking my messages and this, that, and the third, I ran over a popular super star, okay? They're a little vlogging uh, site out there. I'm sure you don't see them. They're everywhere. But they caught the story, honey. Uh, it was a Rosie Lawrence that brought out the um, article, and she titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta star Con uh, Candy Burr's husband Todd caught at a hotel, and he gets spooked. When we say get spooked, that means taking out of your element, surprise, like, you know, you ain't expecting that somebody jump out around the corner at you when you coming down the road say, surprise, and, you know, you just, you know, shit it on your clothes, shit it on yourself, pee and all that kind of stuff. Well, you probably wouldn't do it at your age when you're young. When you get your fitness like me, hey, your bowels just, they, they have another world of their own, okay? When your bowels start saying you got to go, you better be moving something. At least that's in my case, okay? I might have to wear a diaper soon. I don't know. <laughs> Pray for me. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, getting into the article itself. Now, all of this is allegedly. Don't really know if it's true or not. But, honey, it caught my attention. I thought, hey, why don't I tell my YouTube family what's going on? Because, you know, it's always a family affair over here. We share shit. Whether it's true or not, we sit and talk about it, okay? But anyway, it says, things between Candy Burris and her husband Todd Tucker may be hunky-dory on screen. 
but a behind the scenes situation was captured by a fly on the wall and things are not looking so good for the couple okay and uh, let's see can we get that a little going to the other it says candy and todd's relationship okay no yeah, Todd's and uh, Candy and Todd's relationship may look perfect on the reality TV show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But according to an eyewitness, there's something going on between the lovebirds. All right. And I'm like, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Let's keep reading. We'll find out. Shall I proceed? Yes, indeed. Okay. It's an Instagram blog called Todd Exiting from an Atlanta area hotel. And as per the blogger, as soon as Todd noticed that he was being filmed, he started and sprinted off. Oh, man, he was started and sprinted off. Meaning he got the hell out of there. He didn't want to be caught up in the scoop that was going down with that cream and sugar when I pulled that coffee. You see what I'm saying? Now, see, uh, fact checkers and people that don't like people that report on other people's business, these are the ones you need to go and investigate and dog them out. The ones that take the time, and I'm pretty sure they get paid for these salacious stories. A lot more than what we're making here on YouTube through AdSense. Okay. But those are the ones you need to be going chasing down and throwing all your hate and saying, why are you hating on this? Why are you hating on that? Why are you reporting this? This ain't none of your business. This, that, that. You know how y'all get to go on in my comments and probably other people's comments too that are YouTube content creators? Go get those. I call them the paparazzi of Atlanta. The ones that go hunt down. Sit and watch every stinking move of a particular individual's comments and goings, okay? Even when they go to the mail about to get their uh, mail and taking their trash out. Those folks that have nothing else better to do because they don't make this their career. They investigative reporters is what they are deemed to be called, okay? But we call them paparazzi. Paparazzi of Atlanta, Super Snoop on my channel, okay? That's a Dale Chanel Torres word in case you forgot where you were hanging out uh, right now, okay? And we love for you always to come back, but you know, you got to be OB. I don't have but the coffee, the, uh, what do you call it? The coffee, the orange juice, and some other juices, you know, to pour you when you come over to the crib, okay? But once you're here, you treat like family, you wash dishes, you clean up as we go. We sit down and have banter if we ain't watching TV or something, okay? Like mine's kindred spirits. That's what we do, kindred spirits, I meant to say. But moving on to the article, after Todd sprinted off, okay, so he got a little agility to him, <laughs> He know to get the hell out of Dodge when some ain't kosher, okay? And the, uh, the unkosher part was him coming out of a hotel, and he didn't have Riley or his daughter or some family member or Candy Burris, okay? No, uh-uh. No, 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 no. He was uh, up there singing solo dolo with somebody else that was his uh, main squeeze, and that's Candy Burris. But getting back to the article, they say Todd could have been at the hotel for a business meeting. That's allegedly. We're going to get him the benefit of the doubt or something else. But he don't get it so smooth. Plus, his casual appearance is giving people a different idea. Yes, Lord. The hotel that Todd was spotted at is the Embassy Suites at the Centennial Olympic Park Hotel in Atlanta. And let me tell you, anything that's downtown, it shit ain't cheap. <laughs> it ain't cheap at all, okay? Whoever he went and laid it low and spread it wide with, they was in some pretty luxury, okay? Yes, and I'm pretty sure it was coming off Candace dime, but like I heard, I don't know if it's true. She keep her men, as long as they obey her rules, she keep them well kept. Okay, and if that's what you do when you got your money, that's your business. You go on and do what you got to do, all right? Uh, but going back to the article, it says, so why would he be in a hotel in a local area without candy? There are tons of such questions that people have. That's like they say, we got answers, okay? We got questions. Do you have the answers? We're listening. We're learning. Please provide us with whatever you can. That's in my uh, sidebar, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, many commenters believe that Todd was meeting a special lady at the hotel, and if he was, it wouldn't be the first time he's been accused of cheating. Yes. Do y'all remember way back at the uh, beginning of the year? Kim Zozak and uh, I think maybe Cora was on Watch What's Happens Live, or maybe she was on there solo dolo with him. And uh, she, Andy Cohen, had asked her, uh, "Could you get any tips from Candy about you know being a better wife? You know, seeing what it's going, you know, the comments and goings of being a husband. I mean, a, 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 a female being a woman being in the entertainment business and having a professional." person as well and how y'all deal with it you think candy could give you some pointers how the kids so candy can't give me no pointers by my husband because i don't share my husband i said what she say 
Whoop, score one for Kim, zero for Candy. Are we playing catch up? But anyway, going back to the article, it said earlier this year, like I said, reality TV star Kim Zola had Berman through major shade at Candy when she appeared on Andy Cohen. Watch what happens live. So I knew my mind was pretty good sometimes. You know, sometimes it's kind of uh, fair weather, but that's how it is. When you get older, you're getting aged. But it said on the show, and ask Kim, do you think that you and your husband, Corey, could learn a thing or two from Candy and Tara's relationship? Uh, to this, Kim responded, I don't share my husband, sweetie. <laughs> I was like, oh, major shade, major shade, and a good two points if we playing basketball. Okay, well, no, nah, that's just center court right there. That's a three-pointer. But anyway, well, they show a picture of Todd called himself exiting the uh, hotel and like I said, he was in some street clothes. So I'm like, um, I don't want to, this like them skinny jeans or something. And he had his little um, hoodie on and stuff of that nature. But he do look spooked and meaning spooked. He was somewhere he didn't need to be. And he didn't want it being broadcast. And he knew he got caught and he had to get the hell out of there. Okay. Because he didn't want nobody coming up him, uh, to him like TMZ do. Like they called Kenya uh, down here in Atlanta. Uh, she was uh, doing her beauty a regiment products line at Salas Beauty Salon, one of their little uh, stores featured. I'm sure it was in Buckhead somewhere. But yeah, because we have down him. You know, we know I'm in California to be TMZ's watchovers, but down here, I call them the paparazzi of the lamp <laughs> that's affiliated with uh, a major bloggers down here. Like we got Tasha K down here. I don't know if she was. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, born and raised here, but I think she's settled here. Um, Justin. Uh, 1232, he's down here. So there's a lot of others down but I think we got, what's her name? Nay Rob. It's a, a few of them that I haven't really personally met. Uh, but they are uh, major bloggers down here. They're making their way, doing their thing, and, and shaking it like a tail feather. So all of us trying to eat from this pie, they call YouTube. And we all have our different uh, phases of how we put out our um uh, social media news okay but i give you entertainment as well as giving you what i think is reputable credible sources to be able to sit out here and give y'all a piece of what's going down in our streets of atlanta okay and that's all the thing i could tell you because i live here i know i've seen uh and, and uh i've come accustomed to seeing some celebrities and i've talked with it of who i've seen and who i've rubbed elbows with in my previous videos okay but that's another here nor there i'm talking about this todd tucker thing and lord have mercy what candy gonna do when she go see no on nora on bertha and lord have mercy when she run into her mama because you know her mama be deep in these streets too <laughs> she had loyal you people come giving up dirt honey but i like I'm, I'm feeling sorry for todd right about now i'm like i hope he ain't made no uh error and some clauses that him and Candy don't set and put in stone. Because, you know, Candy's a businesswoman first and foremost, honey. If she feel like you're doing some uh, side shady shit, she's going to call you on your mess, honey. And he might not even be here for uh, the last egg she needs to uh, implant in somebody, okay? Because I think she got uh, this, uh, she had two eggs left and she fertilized the other one. It's do if it hadn't already been uh brought into fruition when the baby's here because i think it's supposed to be a little girl uh don't quote me on that because i'm just you know trying to use my memory and see what's going on up there to remember am i do i have the correct information but i think she got one more egg left so to me she might well go on and fertilize that one as well and maybe she'll be looking at cutting her losses i don't know but honey uh-uh if they swinging it uh, low and spreading it wide with somebody that you don't didn't approve but like, like again you open up para uh we call it the paradox box okay pandora's box you don't open it up so hey fair game fair play when you do that kind of stuff i'm telling you people y'all need to take this marriage thing a little bit more serious and stop opening up other avenues of getting down trying to make it interesting no you need to make it interesting for you and your partner or you and your husband Okay, you don't, you don't need other entities coming in trying to show each of you all how to have another extra good time in the sheets by providing other things and other people. Uh-uh, you don't need all that. You just need you to and go and do what you got to do to make it work. Because, hell, they made it work in the, in the 70s that... 
six is a fit for hell in, in creation. It was just Adam and Eve, okay? But we don't start it really selective. They have Steve and Steve and Jane and Jane. But still, can we keep it between those people? Do we have to add the whole carnival circus to our bedroom scene? Okay. And then you're going to get what you got with Candy looking at with her husband, Todd, allegedly. Okay, but that's all I have for this story. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> But Lord, how mercy. Mm, sharing his uh, deceased mama ain't going to be able to say his ass because Mama Joyce going to be on it. Doggone it. She going to be on his ass. As what women? This ain't a part of y'all uh, agreement because Candy don't talk to me. That's what she probably be telling talk. I know all about your business, honey, because I am mother. Okay? I am mother. I brought her into this world. Okay? So she going to tell me things that I want to know. And I ain't going to be on social media. But when you start making my daughter look stupid out in, the, in these streets. Oh, I'm coming out swinging. I'm coming for your ass. Okay? <laughs> but y'all enjoy y'all weekend. You know I'm going to come back with something crazy. And something entertaining. But y'all stay tuned to the channel. Keep telling people about me. Keep subscribing to my channel. And let's blow up together. Alright. Have a happy, beautiful Saturday. And I will talk to you soon in another video. All right. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.